morning year one and welcome to the second day of our maths lessons today we're going to start with the counting triangles or different shape activity and then we're going to introduce you to part part whole diagrams so for this you're going to need a dice and some cocktail sticks or straws and it would be useful if you had some counters of two different colors but they're not essential okay and then you're going to need whiteboard whiteboard pen pen or pencil pen and paper to record your answers so let's get started. OK, so to start with, you're going to be playing counting triangles. The explanation is here on the screen. So grown-ups, pause the video now and start again when you're ready. OK, so this is a part-part-whole diagram. And it works by identifying the different sections of a sum. So my first question is looking at these here, how many red counters are there? Brilliant, there are five and we put that five in one part of the part part whole diagram. So my next question is how many blue counters are there? That's right, there's one blue counter so we put that in the other part so now the question is how many counters are there all together and let's count them one two three four five six so the answer is six and that basically is all you have to do with a part part whole so we've got a different challenge this time we're going to make this so how many red counters do i need Let's count them. Tell me just tell two, three, four. So that matches the four. Now we're aiming at getting to seven, so we're going to count on with blue counters now. Five, six, seven. So the missing part of this part part whole is how many we added to four to get to seven so let's count them one two three so there are three blue counters okay here's another challenge this time we've got the counters but no part of the part part whole is full so how many red counters are there that's right there's three so where do you think we write that brilliant we write it in the first one of the part so now how many blue counters are there one two so where do we think we'd write that if you can point on the screen that would be great and see if you're right that's right the two goes there so what goes in this that's right it's how many there are all together so let's count them one two three four five so the whole the total is five Okay. So this last one is just a reminder of what it looks like. We've got four, we've got seven, and we've got three. Okay. So now let's have a look at what I want you to do. What you're going to be doing today is you're going to be having a go at some different calculations. So let's have a look at this one first. What you need to do is complete the part part whole to match these calculations. So that's the, if you're not quite sure, that's probably the one to do. If you're a little more confident, have a go at this one. And if you think this is really quite easy, have a go at this one. The only difference is some of these are more than 10. OK, they're bigger numbers. So I'm going to give you five seconds. And grown-ups, if you want to pause the video at the point at which your child says they want to start, that would be brilliant. So your first option is this one. Your second option is this one.
And if you're up for a challenge, it's this one. Okay. And that is the end of today's maths 